Could a common virus trigger Alzheimer's in some people? Could a virus that most of us carry play a role in Alzheimer's disease? Researchers have uncovered a surprising connection between a chronic gut infection caused by cytomegalovirus, or HCMV, and a specific subtype of Alzheimer's disease. HCMV, a common virus that infects most people during their lifetime, usually lies dormant. But in some individuals, it may remain active in the gut, traveling to the brain via the vagus nerve. Once there, the virus interacts with immune cells called microglia, triggering inflammation and molecular changes linked to Alzheimer's, including the hallmark amyloid plaques and tau tangles. In this study, researchers analyzed tissues from Alzheimer's patients and identified HCMV in their intestines, vagus nerve, and brain. They discovered that the virus activated microglia to express the CD83 gene, a marker previously associated with Alzheimer's. Using brain cell models, they demonstrated how the virus contributes to neuronal damage, increased amyloid production, and tau phosphorylation, processes directly linked to Alzheimer's progression. What makes this research groundbreaking is its potential to identify a biologically unique subtype of Alzheimer's that may affect 25% to 45% of cases. This opens the door to exploring antiviral therapies as a way to treat or prevent this specific form of the disease. Researchers are now developing a blood test to identify people with active HCMV infections and hope to integrate this with emerging Alzheimer's diagnostics. While more studies are needed to confirm these findings, this research highlights the role infections can play in neurodegeneration. By better understanding these pathways, we may be able to develop more targeted treatments for Alzheimer's and other brain disorders. This video is based on the research paper, Alzheimer's Disease Associated CD83 plus microglia are linked with increased immunoglobulin G4 and human cytomegalovirus in the gut, vagal nerve and brain by Ben Reedhead et al. in Alzheimer's and Dementia. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.